Hey, this is Dr. Osborne with you from Gluten-Free Society. Today's topic, we're going to diving, be diving into brain inflammation. I talked in the last episode about how gluten can cause bread madness and inflammation of the brain and damage to the brain. So we're going to dive a little bit more into this topic. I want you to understand the intrinsic nature of how this happens in a sense. So without further ado, let's talk about it. One of the things that happens and how gluten, the mechanism of action, if you will, of how gluten damages the brain is it creates the scenario of leaky gut. As we're looking at this particular diagram, you can see one of the things gluten does, it overstimulates the immune system, creating an antibody response in the GI tract. That leads to damage to the cells of the GI tract, opening up allowing for bacterial and viral toxins to access the central circulation. It also activates and creates acquired allergies to food, so people start to become more allergic to the foods that they're eating, also stimulating more inflammation. But it also does something called molecular mimicry. It sets the stage. Once you have a leaky gut, the molecules from the food and the bacteria and the viruses and the other things that come through your GI tract, remember your gut is a quarantine area. It's not supposed to just let things into your bloodstream. It's supposed to separate good from bad. But when there's a hole, when there's a gap, that microscopic permeability, if you will, then these things start to leak through the proteins from your food, the chemicals from the bacterial excretions, the chemicals from your food. These smaller molecules can, can pass through. And some of these molecules look like your body tissues. For example, there are certain bacterial toxins that we know. They're called lipopolysaccharides, or LPS for short. But it's been found that some LPS actually mimic people's thyroids or mimic people's muscle tissue. And so it sets the stage for molecular mimicry. When these toxins are leaking through, the immune system's attacking the toxins at first. But over time, the immune attack turns to our own tissue, setting the stage for molecular mimicry, which causes autoimmune disease. Now, it's also linked to, gluten is also linked to an abnormal microbiome. There've been a number of studies that show that gluten disrupts certain types of bacteria and their ability to, to, to flourish in the GI tract. And we also know gluten directly causes inflammation in the GI tract, which can lead to malabsorption of vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients that are necessary for healthy brain function, uh, that are necessary for the regulation of inflammation, but that can also do damage to the brain barrier, the blood-brain barrier triggering leaky brain. So many people say, that's crazy talk, Dr. Osborne. What are you talking about? Leaky gut can't cause a leaky brain. Your brain can't leak. Well, let's take a look at the actual science on the matter. So what you're seeing here is directly coming out of the journal Clinical Therapeutics. This is not a new study. This is actually from 2015. So this is not new, brand new information. But you can see here that gluten's impact on the gut microbiota creates a gut blood barrier permeability or an increase. In essence, it's causing that leaky gut and this image comes directly from this scientific study, that leads to an elevation in things like histamine and some of these other chemicals that are listed here, interleukin-6, TNF, tumor necrosis factor, that actually cause permeability in the blood-brain barrier. So BBB, that's what that stands for, blood-brain barrier. So in essence, leaky gut causes leaky brain, and once you have leaky brain, then that can start affecting the way you think, the way you feel, the way you act. These now inflammatory chemicals have access to damage your brain directly. As I showed you in last episode, there are a number of research studies that link gluten exposure to damage or to neurological disease, diseases like schizophrenia and ADD and depression and bipolar disorders. So it's important to understand the mechanism of how this happens because if you remove the gluten, you can help seal the gut barrier. And if you seal the gut barrier, you're actually helping seal the blood-brain barrier back up. So very important you understand leaky gut creates leaky brain. Here's just another scientific study showing how the changes in gut microbiota as a result of exposure to gluten can actually cause MDD. What does that stand for? MDD stands for major depressive disorder. In essence, it can cause depression. It can change the way you think and feel and perceive the world around you, creating depression. So leaky brain is the real deal. 
It is not a joke. It is, this is not an April Fool's video. Leaky brain happens. And the way you protect and preserve yourself from leaky brain in a big part is if you are gluten sensitive, you need to change your diet. Get gluten free as quickly as possible. Now, I'm gonna talk next video in part two on this series on brain inflammation about the six ways to stop brain inflammation. So make sure you tune in. We're gonna talk about that tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe, you'll get an updated notification. Make sure you hit the bell once you subscribe so that we can alert you when those videos are coming out. This is Dr. Osborne with Gluten Free Society with another research alert. You can always subscribe by visiting us at glutenfreesociety.org signing up for our newsletter. We'll send you our gluten-free survival guide and kit at no cost to you because our goal and our purpose is to help you navigate this diet and help you restore your health. Have a great day.